Our uh, next presenter couldn't make it in person, also couldn't make it uh, via the internet, uh, so we're going to have to play a recording. It's going to be presented by Rui Moi, uh, and another acronym, C-A-E-N, uh, a hierarchical, hierarchically attentive evaluation network for item attributes change aware recommendation in the growing e-commerce environment. Hi everyone, I'm Rayma from Alibaba Group. I'm glad here to introduce our recent progress on product recommendation. On the behalf of my co-authors from Alibaba Group, as well as Tsinghua University. The title of this talk, which is also the title of our paper, is CAEN, a Hierarchically Attentive Evolution Network for Item Attribute Change Aware Recommendation in the Growing E-Commerce Environment. As we all know, recommendation systems have played an indispensable role in large-scale e-commerce platforms, which matches the users with personalized and satisfying products. Traditional work have intensively modeled the user's interests by leveraging their past behaviors on items. These methods work fine with a stable supply. But for the growing e-commerce environment, there's a fact that could not be overlooked. The candidate items may change rapidly due to the manual operations like free shipping and lower selling price as well as environmental factors including festivals and natural disasters, which can therefore cause the user's preference to emerge, shift, and disappear. For example, there is a luxury handbag. It had a high original price, but since it's on shelf, it used to be 40% off, 10% off, and now is 20% off. Different users may act differently to this price journey. For user A, who is very price sensitive, he may be attracted by the low price when it's 40% off. But for user C, who is rich and keen to this brand, he may always be interested, no matter how much it costs. So now our problem is, given the past behaviors of related users on this handbag, how could we quantify the probability that a new user X would also be interested? Besides traditional methods with advanced deep neural structures on user behavior modeling, there have been a few works that consider the item dynamics. This work takes use of item past behaviors and model the item evolution and their interaction granularity, which is regarding one interaction between user and item as one state and modeling the dynamics within this state. The perspective of this method on modeling item evolution is somehow like a mirror of user behavior modeling. However, item dynamics is quite different from the user interest change. Attributes like prices are inherent factors that affect the item popularity, and it can be seen by the systems. Given previous work, two major challenges are remained. The first one is the change of item attributes, which greatly affects users' decision-making outside their euro interests, should not be ignored when modeling item evolution. And the second is modeling item evolution and their interaction granularity. It's not a cost-efficient choice. It can result in information redundancy and unnecessary complexity. So in order to address these challenges, instead of regarding one interaction as one state, we partition the item behavior sequence into several states according to the value of its attribute, and proposed our CAEN framework to capture the whole process of item evolution and quantify the matching degree between target user and target item under the current attribute. From the bottom to the top, the life cycle of the target item is first partitioned into several states according to the change of its attribute value by the attribute-based state partition layer. And then the attribute attention layer is applied inside each attribute state for aggregating the related users and outputs the representation of user groups 
which is also seen as the representations of each attribute state. Given that the item attributes are changed consecutively over time, item popularity is not only determined by its current attributes, but also by its past. The third layer, state evolution layer, is just applied over the attribute states to capture the temporal dependency. And then the fourth layer, personalized attention layer, is applied to activate the similar users and similar attribute values among item behavior history. In addition to the personalized attention, frequency extraction layer is also used to capture the frequency of item attribute change, which quantifies the activity level of the seller's operation. And it also indicates how much of a difference this core attribute evolution network will make. Among these five layers, the S, P, L, S, E, L, and F, E, L work together for the attribute-based state modeling. S, E, L is a commonly used recurrent layer which can deal with sequences at any granularity. Most previous methods utilizing user behavior or item behavior uses interaction granularity. But in our method, SPL is first applied, which partitions the life cycle of the target item based on the actions from sellers and platform operators on item core attributes. Therefore, it defines the granularity of the state that SEL is work on. In SPL, the criterion for state partition can be customized according to the purpose and characteristics of the recommendation scenario. Here, for the sake of simplicity, we take price as the representative in our description. The second and the fourth layer consists of the two-stage hierarchically attention. Particularly, the bottom one, attribute attention layer, is applied on the bottom to aggregate the users and their specific attribute. The query is the attribute embedding, value and key are both the embedding of the users who have interacted with the target item under this attribute. Therefore, we can find the users who are most representative of the attribute among the interaction history, which is to put more weights on the users that are attracted by this attribute. In addition, we keep value in its original representation space so that the output remains in a consistent space with user embedding. And thus, we can compare it with the target user in the following computations. Each attribute aware attention works individually under each state, but shares the same parameters throughout this game. The second tentative layer corresponds to personalized attention layer, which is applied on the top to extract information from the source past interactions according to the target one. To balance the impact from attribute and the impact from users in calculating the matching degree, attribute and user are concatenated to act as query and key. As shown on the right, value is the item representations and their different attributes, key is the concatenation of the item and attribute, and query is the concatenation of the target user and the current attribute. Above all, the whole structure of CAEN can be seen as the module of item behavior modeling, with the output vector that can be flexibly concatenated with other modules and then serves as the input of the following decision layer. Here we take CTR prediction as the downstream task apply a multiple-layer perceptron and a sigmoid activation after CAEN to infer the clicking probability. Since existing public datasets lack accurate records on item attributes, we collect the dataset from Lazada, which is a fast-growing e-commerce platform in Southeast Asia. The dataset is obtained from 8-day item exposure logs, which labeled the record whether the items are clicked or not, and also includes item attribute changes and item behaviors within 30 days before the exposure. 
three groups of competitive baselines are considered. Group one are non-sequential method without individual behavior modeling, which conclude SVD++, YouTube.net, and PNN. Group two are sequential methods on user behaviors, which includes RNN, CNN, attention-based models, and their combinations. Group three are sequential methods on item behaviors, which also includes RNN and attention-based methods, where TIN is proposed with an additional time-aware structure, which also considers the timestamp of item behaviors. Our experiments are deployed in order to answer these five research questions, including the overall and detailed performance compared with the state-of-the-art methods, as well as ablation study, practicability study, and parameter study. This table shows the AUC and log loss of CAEN compared with baselines, including the performance on overall items as well as the performance over four separated industry categories. In group three, combined with different methods on item behavior modeling, we use UBGRUA for user behavior modeling. From the figures shown, we can learn that group two outperform most models in group one, which demonstrates the effectiveness of the state-of-the-art user behavior modeling. Well, group three is not always better than group two. Topo LSTM, DIB, IBGRUA are proposed with good results over datasets like Amazon and MovieLens, which are collected in a relatively stable environment. However, this method failed in our fast growing circumstance, making the results even worse than UBGRUA without item modeling. Well, TIEN is the only one with better results which captures the item changes with a time-aware evolution model. Furtherly, CAN obtains even better performance, which is the best among all the item behavior modeling methods. Compared with TIN, it shows that it is more effective to model the item evolution under attribute granularity than under interaction granularity. And we can also see that the performance improvement by introducing item behavior modeling is at the same level as that by introducing user behavior modeling. In the ablation study, we found that no matter which layer we remove from CAEN, the performance loss is significant. It's also worth noting that the frequency extraction layer works like a supervisor of seller operation which captures the seller's operational activities on attribute modification, is also proved to be effective, especially on the log loss metric. Further in research questions three to five, we illustrate that CAEN is an effective method over any structure of user behavior modeling. And it can always benefit from a larger number of price states thanks to SEL and AAL, which could share information within different price states of one specific item. The contributions of our work can be summarized as three points. Firstly, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first work to exploit item attribute evolution in CTR prediction. By capturing the item change over attribute dynamics, the framework enables the personalized recommendation to adapt to the frequent changes in the growing e-commerce environment. Secondly, we proposed a hierarchically attention mechanism inside item evolution modeling, which activates similar users and their similar attribute value, and it is benefit to the item attribute evolution modeling. Thirdly, we evaluate the proposed method on a CTR prediction task over actual e-commerce dataset in Southeast Asia, and then illustrates the performance of our method, especially on the items with rapid changes over attributes, demonstrating the effectiveness of capturing dynamics in item recommendation. That's all of my part, and thanks for your attention.
As the speaker is not with us live, there will be no QA, of course, because no questions can't be answered. If you answer them on the hub, they may be answered by, uh, by the authors.